for those who work for HHC, you have gone through You've gone through what all public workers have gone through in the United States of America in recent years. You've worked harder and harder with fewer and fewer resources, and somehow people are trying to somehow people try to portray you as the problem. Well, I want to say something that public officials don't say often enough. I want to say thank you for what you do for us. You are not part of the problem, you are the solution. And to everyone who works at HHC, I want you to know, I am committed to making sure we have the best public health care system in the country. I am committed to that outlandish notion that you deserve a fair contract. committed to doing everything we can as a city to work with the duly elected President of the United States, Barack Obama, who duly passed a piece of legislation called the Affordable Care Act, confirmed by the United States Supreme Court. for leaders in this country to get behind our president and make the Affordable Care Act a reality. And that will help HHC, that will help the people of New York City when every New Yorker who should be insured is insured. And that is the work we have to do together. And for those of you who work in voluntary hospitals, you know, I have seen what you do every day for us, and you've had to worry in so many cases, would your hospital be there the next day? Yeah. In the richest city in this country, we've had to wonder, would our hospitals be there? No. That's not acceptable. No. And that's why I went to court to keep Interfaith open, to keep Long Island College Hospital open. And again, I, I have this penchant for these wild, crazy ideas. I issued a plan. I hope, I hope, I hope this isn't going to be too much for you. I issued a plan that said the city government and the state government actually need to have a plan to keep hospitals open. You can't look the other way. While people are losing health care, while communities are losing health care, you can't look the other way and call it government. They say the system is in crisis. We can't do anything about it. What does that even mean, crisis? Where does that leave us? Where does that leave our patients? As I said earlier, these are New York's sickest and poorest. Where are they supposed to turn to for care when they're in crisis? The crisis is this. We are doing hard work. Hard work for little pay and no respect. The crisis is we do not have safe staffing. The crisis is that it is hard to work with scant resources. The crisis is that it is hard to provide the safe, upstanding care that our patients expect from us or that we expect to provide for them. Our mayor, who has reported, has reported 27 billion with a B in the bank and the Wall Street investment companies with whom his business works. See, healthcare is a source of profit. That's why mergers and acquisitions of healthcare companies are so popular among big business. Unfortunately, some legislators agree. They think that they can close our hospitals, hand them off to private companies, and explain it as market forces at work. Well, that's a code that we're being ripped off. At St. Luke's, there are three, three units that are closed. And they're telling people that our census have, has dropped by 40%, but it's an artificial thing. They have patients in the emergency room that need those beds, but they're not staffing those units. Yeah, you have to give quality care in a certain amount of time. And if there's not enough nurses to give in a lot of number of patients, then the care goes down. It just goes down, it's not good. 
The hardest thing about my job right now is that our voices are not really being heard as nurses. We need more of a voice um, when it comes to making decisions about our patients and about um, maybe even hospital spending to better utilize the nurses we have. Looking at city council though, it's not like the Congress. You know, I've seen city council do things like paid sick leave in opposition to the mayor. So now that we would have a mayor working with city council, I do have hope that we have a very positive future.